the top dog, I know these niggas all on my position. Cause I'm putting up numbers like a statistician. The king back like LeBron when he returned to Cleveland. Time to spread the back around, make sure we all eating. Hurt some niggas, get they got us, guess we all eating. Greetings everyone. Thanks again for tuning in to Porsche Talk. This is part two. I'm here with the Irie. And we're talking about the struggles of motherhood, okay? It's okay that you feel like, what the hell am I going to do? Why am I here? Why did I get here? That's fine. It's okay to keep switching up what you want to do for a living. Because sometimes you got to test it to know it ain't for you. Like she was saying, I started off, well, after I met my now husband, I had done restaurants, a lot of restaurant stuff. So eventually I was like, I had went to school for journalism. I stopped that to go to school for nursing. Started working at Beaumont. Hell to the no. I was <laughs> over it. I'm talking about hell no. Now what it did allow me to do is that scheduling you could do the three twelves allow me to go and get my education and get where I am now as far as education wise. And I decided to go to Specs and then Rochester and then here I am. But yeah man, it's a lot of changes. I mean like so like do you feel like you hit a wall one day? Yeah, I man. So like you saying, like I did I toggled I babysit my entire nursing school. Like, I babysit it. As, much, as long as I've been in school, I could have had, like, a PhD by now. <laughs> because I, I just realized one day, it was this year, I was getting ready to re-enroll. I was going to get my bachelor's and to be an RN. I was getting my bachelor's, and I was supposed to start classes in January. And December came around, and I was just like, I, I don't want to do this. <laughs> But this is like midway through nursing. I switched my career. I'm like, I'm going to do business management. I'm going to be an entrepreneur of some sort. <laughs> like, I'm going to just do this. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that either. So I went back to nursing. And, you know, I finished. I stayed in my job for five years. And like I said, I just woke up and was like, ah, this ain't it. Like, this is not it at all. My husband was like, so what is it? Like, what do you mean? I was like, I, was like, I need to quit. He was like, what you mean? Wait, how you gonna put your whole job? I was like, because I need to. Like, I, I have to. And I know it sounds so crazy, but like, I, I have to. I can't think. I can't think. Like, I feel like I'm comfortable. I feel like I'm dependent on it. And I'm never gonna take a leap. I'm never gonna take a leap. Like, I used to write a long time ago. I used to write. And I love writing. Like, I wanted to be a journalist. And you know, nursing just got shoved in my head like that was right You always have a job. Be a nurse. Be a nurse. Be a nurse. So yeah. like, I guess at some point, you know, you hear something a million times. But that's what just, we all fall for. Yeah, it, it sounds right. I mean, let's think about the commercials that you listen to. You can recite hands and remember off time. Like, yeah. Right now. So I did nursing and now I'm writing. And I, that's what I want to do. Like I'm taking this time to write my book. And, you know, at first I didn't even know what my, what my book needed to be about. Because I'm like, well, what's what you want to write about? <laughs> what about your life? Your life not that interesting to everybody else. Like, okay. And then I'm like, no, I'm going to write about certain experiences from my life that are relatable. But had I not quit my job, I would have never been able to think about that. I couldn't even think about tomorrow working there. Like, that shit was so fucking stressful. It's something about that hospital energy, boy. I, I was at a clinic. That's what's even crazier. But we was like a mini urgent care. It demanded so much of my time. I was there like six days a week. Then I went down to five because I was off on Wednesday. Like that was mandatory. I was like, I'm not working on Wednesdays, period. Don't call me that. I'm not. But I was there Mondays from eight to eight. I was there Thursdays oh, no. from eight to eight. I was there Tuesdays, sometimes from seven to six. Like th uh, Fridays, eight to six. Saturdays. Excuse so you me. have your nursing degree? I got, I'm an LP. I'm an LP. Okay. So we be here. And then while I was, when I was getting ready to transition from my LPN to, yeah, to my BSN, I just didn't want to do it. I, I did not have to drive for it no more. Like, I quit. I feel like I have done, I have been going to school to be a nurse since I was 18 years old. And I am not dumb. I think nursing, for me, I just, I could do it, but it was just draining. And then it's like people ask you, 
for your help, but they ain't even need it. No, it's just because you're there. You know what I'm saying? They would hit that fucking light just because. I mean, they hit that bitch like a check was gonna come through the door. <laughs> like you was just gonna hand them a large amount of money, like a bag. Like if you hit this motherfucking light one more time, yeah. just one more. You know, and that's the thing. Like I got tired of running around, I was falling asleep trying to get report. To hell with that, you know. Mm-hmm. So. I got I got into the clerical side and finally I worked my way up out of that piece. And I don't intend to ever go back. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. I mean, it's, a, it's you always have a job, but... Ner- and then, I didn't like the way a lot of... It was a couple of nurses that would do their thing. But a lot of them was pill pushing. All they wanted to do was give people pills to sit down. They didn't want to help. They didn't want to do nothing. They too lazy. And they think that nursing assistant is supposed to do everything. Mm-hmm. No, you got me all the way to it, like a present, <laughs> without the cheese. That's what I stayed. You got me all the way. That's why I stayed in the clinic too. I didn't like that atmosphere. But I just, I just woke up one day this year and was like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. And it's, I love, I like the nurturing of it. Like I love working with the kids most of the time. It just, it just wasn't doing it for me. I wasn't satisfied. Like, I would be okay not doing it. And when I, when I wake up and I feel like I'm okay excluding something from my day, then it's time for it to go. Like, yeah. It serves no purpose anymore. Like, I'm not excited to be there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Not at all. I'm not excited to be there at all. And stress is a silent killer. And that's what people need to understand. If you're not happy, man, that ricochets into all facets of your life. You know, you're not a happy wife, you're not a happy mother, you ain't good for shit. You know what I'm saying? And that that leads to it too. Like I found myself I dealt with postpartum really bad after my second. And um I never got help for it. I was still functional. But I think postpartum is still one of those things that's so overlooked. Yeah, it just um, jumps on your ass like a backpack. And yeah, you don't and then, even know it's there. And then for, like, the help, though, like, if you're not around here rocking or telling, like, completely ignore your baby, like, nobody pays attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. they don't see the irritability. They don't see your your hostility towards your, your situation, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't see your, your sadness. And that is, a lot of people don't know, like, postpartum is just a gateway to a lot of other depressions, like, later in life. Like, it's a, it's a trigger. So, I'm sure somebody's a full-blown crackhead. Started off from postpartum. postpartum. Exactly. Like Lisa, I, we're blowing dicks, <laughs> trying to make it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's fact. But I, I mean, I just, just thinking about all that stuff, like all, all of it. I, I just refuse to be. I'm okay with being a mother. I'm okay with being a wife. But I refuse to be uncomfortable in my own skin and unhappy in my own world. Right. Like the the least I could do, while I'm giving all my energy to everybody else, is something I fucking want to do. Right. Like. I, Whatever it is, like you said, like <laughs> I'm gonna be in certain gender service tomorrow if I felt like that's what I wanted to do. Like, what? And right now, I'm writing and yeah. pre- and curating events. You know, like it's really important to me, like the self care aspect of your life, and it's not just hanging out with your friends. Like it's so much more to self care than just hanging out and getting your nails done and your hair done. Like you need to be financially okay you need to understand mm-hmm. finances and you need to understand money and how to use it and how to spend it like you said had we known that life was going to be this kick ass we yeah. could say we would have paused a lot of things before having multiple children like we definitely would have paused like we did it right we own our own we own our house so that was an investment there but you know you got to be able to utilize that investment yeah a lot of people don't think about that you need to be able to be uh happy with your physical appearance yeah you know you need to be happy yeah. with your yeah your, your, your person your partner that you <laughs> that created this life with like right? your space people don't think about all that and that's that's what i wanted to do that's when i woke up and decided to quit my job that's what i wanted to teach i, wanted to all that. I don't care what i do i gotta have my hair done yeah and my nails done now i know i'm getting this flow wrong on the side but yeah, it's certain things you just you gotta have, whatever that is.
But this is part two, y'all. I'm gonna end the video right here. Stay tuned for part three. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porsche Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right, you'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.